got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name so I have two packs of ribs here. I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna clean it. Um, I believe they're baby back ribs, so they are kind of meaty and fatty. But before we clean it, I'm gonna um, take that back piece. It's a membrane. Um, it's kind of a clear piece of skin. So I'm gonna find the end of it, and I'm just gonna kind of pull that off. You wanna always do that first. Um, when you cook with it on, it can kind of be a little tough. So just pull that membrane piece off of the back of each rib. Now I'm just kind of scraping the rib and I'm about to start cleaning it. I wash it, I scrape it some more. And as you can see, the more I scrape, the more um, kind of like gunky stuff I'm pulling off. So I do that. Now with the clean set, I'm going to cut them into four bone pieces because that's kind of what I wanted. But you can leave them as two big full racks if you want. They're nice fatty pieces. And we are going to flip those over. And I have these nice pieces of four bone racks which is like personal size pieces so i want to get some butter going like a honey butter because i'm gonna kind of marinate the ribs in that or rub the ribs down with that so i'm just putting some butter on the stove it's just honey butter that's pretty much it i'm gonna pour it over the rack of rib i'm gonna massage that in and make sure every rib is coated you can marinate it like this for a couple hours before you add the seasoning or you can add the seasoning after. I'm going to add the seasoning after. So that was chicken, um, bouillon, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, thyme, a little bit of salt. I'm going to mix that well. I'm going to take it. I'm going to season the rack of ribs with it. Make sure it's really, really, really coated with flavor. You don't want to leave no, no, no flavor out. Everything has to be, like, the key to ribs is in the seasoning and in the preparation. So don't skip out on that. I added some of my spice barbecue rub just as a top topper. And um, now I'm going to wrap these ribs up individually. Um, you can marinate them like this. But I'm just going to go ahead and place them in the oven, still in their individual foil packs. I have the oven on 250 degrees, and I cook these for about four hours. While those are in the oven, I'm going to get ready to make the sauce. So I have three different types of barbecue sauce. Um, I didn't want to make any barbecue sauce from scratch. So <laughs> let's be real. We're going to use some Kraft or whatever, Sweet Baby Ray's, whatever you want to use, you can use that. So what I tend to do is I tend to mix my three favorite ones together in a bowl and then I add like brown sugar and stuff like that. So I'm adding some more of my spice barbecue rub. I'm going to add some brown sugar, some ground cinnamon and some nutmeg. You want to make sure you stir all of that in. Make sure everything is combined. Usually I use the packed brown sugar, but I didn't have any. So I just want to see what these ribs are looking like. And they're looking good. So um, I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to sauce the top. And I like to cook the ribs first with the seasoning without the sauce just to make sure the flavor profile really gets in there and then I add the sauce and I bake it with the sauce so that the sauce can caramelize and get sticky on the rib and then this is what we have some sticky nice barbecue sweet 
um, honey barbecue ribs. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at eatdeliciously underscore. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. It helps me out a lot. And stay tuned for the next video.